Today we're talking about the Slate Digital Virtual Console Collection plugin. So if you guys never heard of this plugin before, it basically emulates vintage consoles. It emulates an SSL, API, Neve, and several other ones. And if you guys are interested in the Slate Everything bundle, this plugin comes in it. So you guys are probably wondering, hey, what does it sound like? I'm actually gonna let you guys hear what it sounds like on a mix I did in this tutorial. And I'm gonna let you hear what every emulation sounds like. So you're definitely gonna wanna stick around for that. And if you guys already own this and you guys are kind of wondering, well, hey, how does this work? What do I do with it? I'm gonna show you all that. And I'm also gonna let you know what my favorite console emulation is at the end of this tutorial. So stick around for that. And we're gonna to get to all that good stuff right after this introduction. Welcome everybody, I'm Dan Spencer and I am the Audio Sourcer. So this is the channel where I teach you how to perfect your audio recording, mixing and mastering skills. So before we get to the video, make sure you guys smash that like button, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to know how new videos coming out. So without further ado, today we are talking about the Slate Digital Virtual Console Collection plugin. And in this video, we'll do a quick little review on it, but it's mostly going to be a critical listening video. So what I want to do first is I just want to kind of go over the actual plugin here for those who have not seen it before. So I'll kind of show you what the console emulations are that exist in it and then what these buttons are. And then we'll get right into the listening portion of this video. So with that being said, let's actually take a look at the virtual console collection plugin here. So starting at the top, you got your VU meter. And the optimal input level for this is right around zero. So since it is modeling analog gear, you can hit it in the red and it would be okay. And then down here, you got the group IO button. And this basically allows you to isolate your in and output gains from being in a group. And we'll talk about what a group is here in a second. Below that, you have your link IO, and that means you can link your input and your output gains. And then below that, you have your different console emulations, and you have six different ones here, which we'll also talk about here in a second. And then you have your console drive, and then here is your group um, rotary knob here. So this is actually kind of cool. So you can actually set these to, per se, like one, and then I can set these parameters here, okay? And then when I put this on another track, and I set this to one, this is going to set uh, all the same settings on that one too. So essentially I can make, I don't know, we'll say group one be my SSL console, which is the Brit 4KE here. And then I could make, you know, one console all the way down the chain by just setting this to one. It's basically just a time saver if I'm just summing it up here. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't make that too uh, confusing for you guys. Uh, below that we have noise reduction and that basically just reduces or gets rid of all the noise that is created by this analog console emulation. So analog consoles have noise in them and this just gives you the option to get rid of it. And then you have an option to bypass the group in which that you may be using or may not be using. Okay, so those are all of the parameters within this plugin. So let's actually talk about the different console emulations. So let's actually start with the Brit 4KE. The Brit 4KE is modeling an SSL console as mentioned earlier. And this particular console has a tight and punchy low end, has warm low mids and punchy and present mids. And you can really hit the uh, mix bus hard on this one and you get some amazing saturation and it helps the transient sit much better in the mix. At least that's how the manual describes this console. But from my experience with this one, I actually use this one quite a bit. That's the way I interpret it, okay? So the next one is the Brit 4KG, which is also an SSL console. So this one is considered the most popular one in the industry, the most used one. And this one's heard on a lot of rock, pop, metal, and hip hop records. It's pretty much, you can use it across the board for any genre and it has a lot of grit in it and it's used on a lot of, like I said, a lot of genres, but a lot of rock records, definitely. Okay, and then the USA one here. So this one here doesn't tell you what it's actually modeling, but I'm pretty sure it is a API console. And this one is known for thick and fat tones. It has a lot of vibe and mid-range punch to it, all right? And then the Brit N here, this is modeling a Neve console. And this is also a British console. 
hence the Brit in the name. And this uh, is very rich fat and has a warm tone to it. And then this one here, which is shaped like a trident or I guess almost like a candlestick, however you want to say. I'm going to say trident because I'm pretty sure it's modeling a trident console because it also doesn't tell you what this models in the manual. Uh, this one is said to have a wide soundstage, smooth highs, fat low end. Uh, you can actually push it hard for some uh, more fatness. Again, this is coming straight from the manual. And then our last console here is the RC Tube. And this is actually based on a 50s all tube broadcast desk. Okay, so this wasn't necessarily for music. It was more in the broadcast world, but that doesn't mean you can't use it for music because back in those days, the circuitry and you know the, the analog gear back then was amazing. So you can imagine some of the great characteristics that this particular emulation might add to your to your music here and you're going to get to hear it in this tutorial all right so those are our six emulations that we are going to be listening to in this tutorial so what i want to talk about before we listen real quick is just what we're listening to so the song we're going to be listening to is a song called a young and free by an artist called billy Wynn. Uh, this is a song I pulled from way back in the archives, and it's just a rough mix, but it's good enough for, you know, what we're going to be listening to here. And it's a very repetitive chorus, and that's what we're going to be listening to, the chorus in the song. And I felt like repetitiveness would be great for this experiment because I don't want to throw too much different things at you, too many different words, too many different parts coming in and out. You're going to hear a lot of the same stuff over and over again. So you're going to get a really good feel of what these console emulations do to the sound, all right? So with that being said, let's actually get into this experiment here. Make sure you guys are listening in headphones. Do not listen on your cell phones because you're not gonna hear pretty much any difference. And uh, let's let's see what these console emulations do. So uh, first we'll hear it with no emulation and then we'll go down the chain. So here we go.
All right, so those are all six console emulations there. And as mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, I will tell you guys which my favorite one was. And I personally like the USA API console the best. I think it is the cleanest, most lush sounding console emulation that exists in this plugin. I think that it works across the board for all genres, and I just love the way it sounds. So one thing like I think when I think about hearing good recorded music, good mixes, good sounding music, I think about country music, I think about Nashville. Now, I'm not really sure what consoles they all use in Nashville, um, but I will say that I picture like out of all the emulations in this plugin here, the API USA being the closest to what I hear in Nashville recordings. Like I said, it's a very clean sounding console and that's why I like it a lot. Again, works across the board for all genres. So another console that you should take notice to is the Trident console. I think out of all the emulations here, it's definitely the one that stuck out the most. It definitely sounded very different compared to the all the other ones, especially up in the high end, I would say. It's definitely a little more crispy. It's a little more saturated, I think, than the other ones. Um, I actually really liked it a lot. It's the most time I spent with it was actually messing with it this time around because I typically don't use it. So I thought it was pretty cool. And that leads me into asking you guys to answer some questions for me. I would like to know which of these emulations you guys liked best. Did you hear any difference at all? Because <laughs> I know some of them are pretty close to each other. Um, did you like the tutorial? And I would say, do you like the Slate emulation compared to maybe another console emulation that you may be using from maybe another manufacturer? So let me know these answers in the comment section below because I'm curious to know from you guys. All right. So if you guys like this tutorial, give a thumbs up. Please subscribe because I'll be making this content for you. And definitely hit that notification bell to know how new videos are coming out. So until the next video, I'll see you guys later and peace out.